To begin, you'll need one tub of thin set mortar, which serves as an adhesive between the tile and the wall, a white subway tile, and a 1 8 wedge tile spacers to keep the tile from resting on the counter, and a notch trial to apply the thin set to the wall. Using the pointy side of your notch trial, you'll apply the thin set generously on the wall, then smooth it out with the straight side. Then you'll go ahead and apply your subway tile, pressing it firmly against the wall, and then applying a wedge spacer right under the tile to keep it from resting on the countertop. You'll keep this process going until you reach your desired layout of tile. When we got ready to lay the tile behind the stove, we added a thin piece of wood along the back so that um, the tile can have somewhere to rest so it would not slide down when we applied it. And here we have the layout so far. After you apply your towel, you have to grout. For our grout, we used one 10 pound bag of warm gray grout from Lowe's, a grout float, a grouting sponge to remove grout haze, and a stain blocker which we mixed in with the grout instead of water. When grouting, thoroughly work your grout into each line, into each individual tile. That way you can make sure that you don't have any spaces in between your grout lines. Be sure to use your grout float to remove any excess grout and reapply as necessary. Before using your grout sponge to remove any grout haze off of the tile, thoroughly rinse it under cold water and wipe across the tile. Keep wiping until all of the grout is removed. You'll have to rinse your sponge again, but just keep wiping. After grouting, you have to caulk. I used unsanded caulk in the same color as my grout. This step is important because you need to uh, seal the seam between the tile and the countertop to prevent any moisture from going behind the tile. Once I provided the bead of caulk along the tile and the countertop, I just used my finger to smooth out the caulk line. I just wet my finger and wet a towel to repeat it and I just repeated the steps as necessary. I used my finger to ensure that the caulk was worked into the seam as I didn't want any gaps. Followed the same steps along the top of the tile where the cabinet met the tile. <music> 